and welcome back to the 2011 Bermuda Powerboat Association Round the Island Powerboat Race. As we look on from St. David's Head, we see FB55 coming through is Tonka Simpson. And close behind him, we have D13, Bobby DaCosta and Chris Wells. Late enough time. And behind Bobby, we have D33, David Selly, cutting very close to the shoreline. And like I said, these boats are trying to find the closest route to the finish line. And then we have D13 again, coming around across the oil docks. There's D13, Bobby DaCosta, coming through the oil docks. And we have FB55 close behind. So it seems that Bobby DaCosta has taken, uh, taken the lead from Tonka Simpson. D25, pushing hard to secure a second win for this bat boat. But it doesn't look like it's gonna happen today. As Bobby DaCosta is pushing that boat to the limit, seems to have it trimmed perfectly today. And then we have D33. Okay. Boat to return to Ferry Reach is now through the pylons. It appears to be D13, Bobby DaCosta and Chris Wells. We'll confirm that momentarily. D13. Yes. Bobby DaCosta and Chris Wells take the checkered flag here and here's FB55 and it's followed very closely by another. That will be Tonka Simpson and Seth Cleddy. And then there's another boat also in there. Let's confirm this. F, no, this is D25. Now, FB55, third overall. FB55, D33, just finishing now. That's David Selly and Andrew Osborne. And here comes the big class. It looked like it could be the P111, or is it S20? Ricky Souza Jr. and Stephen Bridges screaming across us here. S20, followed by B707. And here's another boat finishing and two more of the S-Class boys coming through the pylons, but right now it's D187. And what a finish do we have going on here. Kareem Johnson and Jermaine Butterfield hooking with someone here. Look at this, down to the front. Oh yeah, and P111, right to the wire. The other one, not P111, the other one. You saw D18 beat him at the moment? Wow, beat him at the moment. Early on, BS, you got to look up. And we have another craft coming across the finish line here. D8, D8, and that'll be Perry De Silva and Francisco De Costa.
And here's another coming in. Unfortunately, S22 Anthony and Andy Stoneham broke down on the North Shore. But I've been covering racing down here at Ferry Reach for a number of years. But after 60 nautical miles, never have I seen two S-Class boats going across. But here's FB111. FB11 Stephen and Brandon DeSilver. And we have right in front of us now Ricky Souza Jr. and Stephen Bridges in S20 barbed wire. They were fifth overall. Fifth overall and first in the S class. And she was running today. What a performance by these uh, drivers here. Really ideal conditions. Normally on one side of the island you get some sort of a chop or swells, but what a race this year. Just to recap as we await one or two more boats to come in here. D13, Bobby DeCosta and Chris Wells took the jacket flag, first overall, first in Class D. Then it was D25, second in Class D, second overall, Graham Sutherland and McNeil Wilson, followed by FB55, that would have been Tonka Simpson and Seth Clady, followed by D33, and that's David Selly and Andrew Osborne. As we mentioned, fifth overall in the S class, Ricky Souza Jr. and Stephen Bridges, followed closely by B707, Mark Selly and Jordan Every. Then up it was D187, and that's Stephen Eversley and Brendan Frank. And then came the hook, D18 and P111. And uh, our cameras indicate that D18, S18, excuse me, uh, actually uh, uh, edged out and took uh, the honors for eighth place there. And two more boats about to finish here. A30. A30, and that's uh, Chris Warboys and Steve Sherman. And it looks like B98. A98. A98. Gregory Folk and Gregory Simon. Here's. C50, Stuart Dorham and Henry Trott. They'll finish 14th overall. And here we see just in front of us, P111, Philip Correa and Cameron Harris. What a ride that must have been going around with a pair of 300s Mercuries in the back. No doubt, pushing speeds of 100 plus. And we can see the first Thundercat now is just to our left. What a ride that must have been for them. The first Thundercat will finish 15th overall. Now approaching the finish line. And here he comes. Okay, we ooh, a rough, a rough finish out there. We have another S-Class entry coming in here. Could be S7, Derek Seymour and Shakai Easton. Is it? No, it's a C-Class entry. Looks like C88. C88. And that will be Kenny Mabry and Wayne Williams. Seventeen craft to complete the race. Oh, whoa, hitting a swell there and just about getting it back under control. But uh, crossing the line, 17th overall momentarily. It looks like FB4. FB4, that'll be Jamal Williams and Rodney Denbrook.
Okay, we've had 17 boats now to finish and another approaching the finish line here at Ferry Reach. And uh, taking 18th place honors here looks to be C17, C17. That's John Adnes and Aaron Anderson. I'm amazed that they actually finished because they really were having engine problems starting. I didn't think they were going to go. I heard. <laughs> Another Thundercat through the pylons heading towards us. It's a red one, probably Brian Lightborn and Kenny Matthew in T5. And just behind them could be another a-class entry that'll t finish 20th overall they're limping across the line but here they come a1 that's sean dickinson and angela dickinson they can say they went around the island so we now have 20 of the 30 odd starters to finish here Here's to be another Thundercat just coming through the pylons. What a massive turnout here as we see behind us S18, Kareem Johnson and Jermaine Butterfield. They were eighth and ninth in a very photo, very close photo finish with P11. But here, back onto the course, is, it's a Thundercat for sure. Looks to be T321. Dominic White and Kenny DeSilver. Thank you for watching the Bermuda Sports Network. Stay tuned for more of the 2011 Bermuda Powerboat Association's Round the Island Powerboat Race T3, after these two, messages.